Hey guys, happy Sunday. So I am Brooke and my shop is The Junk Parlor and it is open by appointment in Centerville, Iowa. Um, I hop on here and I do live sales on Sunday at 7 p.m. and Tuesday at noon. And then when we get done with the live, I hop on to stories and I show you what's still up for grabs. Um, if you're a first time buyer, you are going to need to give me your email address and your zip code. I will get invoices to everybody within the next 24 hours, probably in the morning. And then if you're a new buyer, you need to pay that invoice ASAP. If you are a returning customer, then you can wait until Thursday. And on Thursday, I will add shipping to your invoice. So since I do two sales and I'm always posting things for sale in my feed, um, it's just nice to have one day where I package everything up, save you a little bit of money on shipping if you got multiple items, and then I will send uh, shipping invoices on Thursday. So if you're a new buyer, it will be a second invoice. If you are a returning customer, then shipping just gets added to your invoice from the week, and I'll send you a little thing saying, hey, shipping just got added so that you can go in and pay that. Um, if you are a person who keeps your card on file, then I will just charge that on Thursday after I get shipping added. So that's kind of how things work. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you're watching on Instagram, one thing to remember is that comments do not stay once um, the video is done. So if you like something and you're watching from Instagram, you're going to want to make sure and uh, shoot me a direct message when we get done. Um, otherwise, if you're watching this once it's posted to IGTV, then you can leave a comment. Facebook, I will check your comments when we get done here. I click like when... Um, I've read your comment and you are the first one to say sold. And if you are not the first one, then I will respond and I will say next in line. So that's kind of how it works. Facebook, if anybody has questions, normally everybody's very good because we've been doing this for years on Facebook, um, knows how it works. And on Instagram, if you have questions, um, I will try and kind of pay attention um, to see if something pops up. Uh, we did 25 days of Christmas. Um, was my turn to share on Facebook today and I did um, four containers. So if you want to go and watch that, I think I linked in my stories um, so that you can go and watch that little DIY project. And then I am actually the presenter tomorrow as well. So I'm doing a chalkboard sign and I'm going to try and do it at 8 30 in the morning because my daughter gets her braces off tomorrow. So she's super excited about that, but that means we're going to be in a tumble all day. Um, so first up for grabs, we have a set of four um, cookie cutters for $15. These are all Christmas theme. You've got your angel, your snowman, and a reindeer. Um, and these are all a little bit different than other ones that I've had because on the cookie cutter, you can see they're a little bit more detailed. There's uh, lines in the angel's wings. There are um, faces on the snowman and just different details on the leaf, um, which is different than other ones I've had. So four cookie cutters for $15. And then before I get too very far, I better show you our um, snowmen here, these blow molds. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they say made in China. So I'm guessing they have discolored a little bit. There are um, five of them. So they come in, come with the yard sticks. They do light up. I plugged them in earlier today. Um, but if you didn't want to stick them outside, then they are super cute just setting like this as well. And you could actually put one in the containers I was talking about earlier today. You could actually put one in a container. So basically you're getting five snowmen and five steaks and they are $100 and they are marked made in China and you can totally put these all on those light steaks. Um, I just think they're cute by themselves as well and that would be another option of how to use them. So our five blow mold snowmen um, sidewalk things for $100. Okay, then we have here 
our nativity. So I put it on a cutting board so you could kind of see it better. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get much better than this. Try and hold it a little bit closer. And this is going to be $45 for our three wise men, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. You've got a shepherd, a sheep, and a donkey. So $45 on our nativity. I actually have a willow tree nativity, and I just leave it out year-round. So you could take... At least if you don't want to leave the nativity out year round, you could at least um, do the animals and stuff if you wanted to. So here is just a king. I was going to double check and see what it said. But these are handmade. This one says Roberto or Roberta, probably Roberta. So they were ho a homemade nativity. Then I found another one of these Better Homes and Gardens um, handy plans. This one, you would cut out Santa with the Merry Christmas, and it is $5. So $5 for Better Homes and Gardens uh, wood cutout um, pattern for $5. Okay, got another jar grabber. This one is a unique one at $15. So it's got the wood and then um, the grabber part. So you can grab, grab your jars. And this one, I don't know if it'll stand up or not, but it's probably close. $15 on our jar grabber. And then I got a little um, Hanson scale. This one says Made in Chicago, USA. Um, but these are awesome because you can hang tons of things with them. You can put them on your porch and hang a potted plant. You can hang um, a hay hook from them. You can do your um, hand towel from, from it. Pretty much anything that you want to hang, this is just a unique way to hang it. So you can hang it from your ceiling or from your porch. Um, hang it off the wall using like a shelf bracket. So let me get a little bit closer on both cameras. And this one kind of has a uh, rusty green there on the side. So $15 on our Hanson scale. Okay, next up we have this, I think it's called a silver dollar for $30. And this one is old. A lady collected so much um, beach stuff, coral. And this one is in really good shape. So $30 on this. And then I scored a couple pair of skates this weekend. So we've got $20 on this white pair of skates. These are in good condition. You can hang them on your door like a wreath. You can put them on a sled. You can separate them out and make a little kind of like a track for them so they'll stand up and fill them like a container. Um, with greenery and stuff in them. So there are so many different options on using um, skates for your decor. So this is skate number one, which it doesn't matter. We'll number number two for sure, but $20 on this one. The second pair is kind of underneath a bunch of stuff. Okay, then we have another Santa. And this guy is actually um, made into a magnet. So there's three magnets back here to hold them onto your fridge. And he is $15. So it looks like some felt um, on cardboard. You can see your cotton balls and then your little um, Santa face. So $15 on our Santa magnet. Then we have for $15 this vintage candle ring. Um, the ring actually is broken. You can see the back in the back, um, but you can't tell from the front. So you could hang this up with a bright pink ribbon on your door above a window or a mirror, um, or you could actually put it over a candle. So $15 on our vintage um, candle ring wreath. 
Okay, then we have some little bitty angels. And they are $10, and it's amazing that they are intact. So you've got an angel playing a violin, you've got an angel playing a harp, and you've got an angel with a banjo, I think. And so the banjo one, she has one broken wing, um, but the rest of them have their hands and their wings and every little thing here. So three for 10 on our little um, miniature angels. And then we have this cute little Santa for $5. Um, it, it's porcelain, ceramic. It is breakable. Um, I'm guessing that his sled would have had like the curved feet on it. And I think those have broken. Um, but he is still just super cute. And you could put some little candies or little bulbs in his little um, gift bag. And he is $5. And then we have an old Santa um, divided tray for $10. So I would just stand him up and put him on a cabinet or open shelving as a backdrop. Um, you can see I didn't clean off the old sticker. It was just kind of like that. So I left that on there. But $10 on our divided Santa plate. And then we have a sugar sack for 20. Normally when I get a sugar sack, they're very small. Um, so you've got this you and I pure fine granulated sack for 20. It is one that has been ripped at the seam, so it would need stitched back together. Um, but it would be great like this. You could just clip it and use it as a a curtain, you could turn it into a pillow or do something for upholstery. So the you and I sugar sack is $20 and the back side is just plain. There is some red staining on it, it looks like, but there aren't any words or advertising. And then for $3, we have this manger. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is made out of, but uh, it's um, not plastic. So just a little faux manger here for $3 for your nativity. And then this time, make sure you say skates number two. So our second pair of skates are also $20. These look like they have had somebody um, paint some white spray paint on them or, or brushed paint on there. They've probably had some wear and tear, um, but they look really good. And that's something to remember too, like if you find black ones and you're really wanting white, just spray paint them. You can also um, spray paint them to get wet paint or even a clear coat and then sprinkle glitter on them. Um, the skates look really pretty with glitter on them as well. So this is a uh, pair number two for $20. And then I do have a big wooden um, sleigh here for $45. And it's just white, but this would be fun to put in the center of your table you could fill it with some faux packages or you could, you know, wrap some packages for real and put in there. You could do a whole thing of greenery and have this run down your centerpiece. Um, you could do this if you have a fireplace mantle. Um, you could put this in the fireplace with some greenery and logs and that would just be a pretty thing or put it out on your porch. So $45 on our wooden um, sleigh. Okay, next up we have a funnel tree for $45. So it's a metal brass candlestick holder actually that's been painted um, and then two funnels stacked. So when I do a funnel tree, I like to make it where I can completely take it apart. 
then I can actually use the candlestick for a candlestick holder or to hold um, a croquet ball or pool ball or something. And then if you want to in the spring, this one has a hole in it. You could nail it to the side of your porch and fill it with some kind of cascading um, plant. So that way you can use these things year round. So $45 on our funnel tree. And you can always spray paint the funnels as well if you want. Okay, then we have this little hard plastic bow for $5. It's plastic with the felt on it and a little bit of random gold glitter. So $5 on our bow. And then this is $5 and it is a metal and it has just red and green textured or um, it, it does look textured paint on it. But I think this just clips over something, a candle holder, um, something. It just looks like it would slide, slide over it, maybe even have a light coming through. But it is a very thick, it's not like flexible like aluminum. It's a very hard um, metal here on this poinsettia. So $5 on that. And then we've got 20 blue um, bulbs for $20. So the largest ones are going to be this size. And then the smallest one we have, which is really, really blue, is going to be this size. So 20 of the old bulbs. These are all shades of blue for $20. Okay, next up for $5, we have a couple of um, gift wrapping tapes. So we've got the Scotch gift wrapping tape with the nice metal, um, what do you call it, holder. And then this is contact tape in the green and white. And so these are just two that would be fun to either throw in a bowl you could hang them up, you could probably use them. I tried to undo the green and white a little bit. It's still tacky, I did not undo any of the red. Um, so $5 on the two old vintage um, gift wrap. Okay, then we have $25 on our clock. I could not figure out how to get it to wind up, so I don't think it will. You can turn the time and change it to whatever you want, but I, I set it at five o'clock earlier and it has not moved. So $25 on our clock and it is a Corning. Corning is the clock. Okay, then can find my sticker. We've got a pair of candle holders, rusty crusty, well not really rusty, how about very chippy um, candle holders for 50. So there are two different uh, heights. I did lightly do a clear coat on them just so they weren't chipping so much when we ship them. Um, but you could use these as just risers, so you could put some candles on it, or you could put like um, a Santa statue or different things like that. A Christmas tree, this would make a beautiful Christmas tree uh, base for one of your bottle brush trees. So $50 for the pair of metal wire um, candle holders. Okay, scored some hay hooks, so super excited about that. This one is number one for 15. So again, you can put a couple nails like my fingers underneath it, and then you can hang a picture from it. You can hang a pot from it. You can do your hand towel from it. Um, so many different options, and this by itself is a piece of art too. So $15 on number one, and then number two is also $15, and it's much, much larger, and the handle on it is going to be different. So it's got some wood on it, the hook's a little bit bigger, but number two, and it is $15 also. 
Okay, then we have a pair of crocheted snowmen for $25. So it looks like you've got a man and a woman just going off of her little um, bonnet. Excuse me, and these are actually um, crocheted over styrofoam balls, um, but they are little cuties here. So $25 for our crocheted snowmen. And see, not necessarily the same style, but you could do a little display like that with your snowman. Okay, this has had a lot of glitter in it, so there's glitter in the bottom along with some rust staining, but this ball jar is $6. It is missing its wire um, that would have, you know, closed the lid, but you can kind of see the pattern of the ball um, advertising. And I don't think this one has a number on the bottom, but there is a number five there. So $6 on our ball jar. Okay, then we have $15 on our battery jar lid. So a lot of times a battery jar is gonna be square and it kind of looks like a square piece of glass, but they also do um, round uh, battery jars. And this would be a lid for that. So $15 on the battery jar. It says for oversized jars, oil, and made in the USA. And it fits on this thing that I have laying here. Okay, next up we've got 20 pink bulbs for $20. And I do have a little bit of green moss in there just as a filler. So your pink big ones are probably about that size. And I don't know, this one probably looks like it's about the smallest one. So these are shades of pink. 20 pink for $20. I do have a few more of different colors as well. So if you're interested in some other colors, just let me know. Okay, so pink bulbs are not included, but I married these two together for $35. I think it kind of looks like a gumball machine now. So you're getting the silver base and the green um, bowl. And actually this battery jar lid fits it as well. Um, so then you kind of really have a gumball machine. So uh, you could fit all kinds of things in there. Obviously you could fill it to the brim with your ornaments or any kind of collection you have. Uh, blocks, game pieces, Scrabble tiles, um, keys, anything. So we've got $35 on the faux gumball machine. Okay, then I found another one of these little vintage um, stockings. Little miniature fuzzy guy for $5. This one is a nice old one. And then someone had asked me if I had any carolers and I did not, but I just found her this weekend. Um, it's actually stamped made in Japan. Um, it's $20 and it will play. And it was kind of like so slow, I could hardly decide what it was playing. Silent Night. But you've got your little Made in Japan caroler here for 20. So the base is sta stationary and then she would swivel. Peace. We do not want me to sing. Okay, then we've got some old tinsel here. So there's 17 foot for $10. So look how thin this is. It's like, what, um, a foil, a scrubby brush, kind of hard texture. So 17 foot of this little thin stuff for $10. And then another garland or tinsel, this one's number two, also $10, and this one is 16 foot. So this one is silver, and then the tips of them are red and green. 
So $10 on tinsel number two. Okay, then we have some newer bulbs. They are um, kind of a mixture in here of um, glittered ones, swirls, a different kind of glitter, and some clear ones. So you've got stars and polka dots and stuff. There's 14 of them for $5. 14 of them for $5. So. Now they're all going to be twisted. You got little polka dot. We've got our massively glittered ones. So $5 on that bag. Then we have a new, um, to me, vintage wreath. This one is Everything's Plastic. It's $15. And I loved it because of the color. This is so pretty and different. Um, you could use it as a centerpiece. So lay it flat on your table and put a riser or something in the middle or a candle but so beautiful, such great colors for $15. Probably won't hang on the ledge right there. Need to give myself a little bit bigger ledge. Okay, then we've got a couple of pitchforks. So this is the first one for $15. And the end of it is very unique. So I guess the wood would have slid on each side of it and gone down into this piece. Um, so that part is very unique. $15, these would look great just hanging on the wall. You can use them on your table and just um, lay them down like I've suggested on a scoop and you could do greenery or tinsels. You could do a stack of packages. You can stab this into something. So $15 on our pitchfork and then this one make sure to put pitchfork number two it is also fifteen dollars but this one has six tines instead of the three and its bottom is more typical of what we normally see but do a bunch of different ones of these on your wall definitely an art statement so fifteen dollars on pitchfork number two if I can get it to fit on here okay then I scored a bunch of shovels so these are $20 each this one is pretty heavy duty but the handle is very very loose so to me that takes its functionality out of it but you could set this by your back door you can put this um, this is not really the kind of wreath that I would do it on but you can do you know Thread it through your wreath and put it with a wreath. Um, put it in a bucket, hang it on the wall. This one I would say is kind of navy. Um, probably has a little bit of a blue tint to it. Spray it with a clear coat and that r surface rust, you're not even going to um, notice it. So that one is number one for 20 or if you've already put that you want that one don't worry I will know no number means the first one but if you want the second one make sure you put number two. Number two is red and the rest of them are red. Again great wreath alternative or work it into your wreath hang it on the wall in the mud room. You could even hang it sideways and put the wreath here or just add your own little swag. So this one is number two for 20. Then we have number three for 20. So I cleaned this one pretty well, but you can tell it's kind of, um, dirty still for lack of a better word I would probably just clear coat it because it's automatically going to make it look more polished um, but I did take a wire brush to it and some WD-40 just real quick so this one is number three 
for $20. And you can always take some red spray paint and paint it red again or paint it green or purple or whatever color you want. Okay, this one is number four. This is our last shovel for $20. Number four. Okay, then I grabbed this box for someone thinking that she collects Yonkers things, but she collects Montgomery Ward, and I was having a brain lapse. So we've got $5 on our Yonkers of Iowa box. It's just um, uh, silver triangles on the box with the Yonkers Iowa. So $5 on our Yonkers box. Okay, then we have, there's like 36 to 39 um, ribbons in here because I'd set some apart and then I couldn't remember if I counted them or not. But you're getting a box of ribbons for $25. Now, these ribbons also come with this little chunk of tinsel. These ribbons are different, or bows are different than the ones that I've shared um, before, and I do still have those other ones. These have, at some point, all been tw uh, twisted on or tied to tinsel. So this is just kind of an idea for you. You could do a swag on your mantle. You could have it running down the centerpiece of your table. You can take these bows and just tie them to the end of your tree branches. You don't necessarily have to use the tinsel, but I think it looks really nice. I like the color contrast. So the bows that are in the box, they are this size to this size. Some of them have like gold elastic and some of them have the pipe cleaners on them. And it doesn't really matter, I don't think, if they're big or little. Well, maybe all the little ones have pipe cleaner and the bigger ones have the elastic. So you're getting almost 40 of these plus the little chunk of tinsel for $25. Okay, next up we have 18 bells, and I'm going to try and dump them out here on a little plate because I have them in a bowl and they're kind of hard to see. So there are 18 bells for $15. Some of them are metal, like this one, and this one is metal with it, and then some of them are like this plastic and they're painted silver to kind of look like a metal probably. And then you have plastic ones. You've got the styrofoam one. I think there's only one of those. And then another plastic. So some of them have pipe cleaners on them. This one is a unique one. So 18 little bells for $15. Okay, then we have $20 on our little angel. She's got very crazy hair, but I still kind of think she's cute. Um, made with these little discs that are just um, stick pinned onto the styrofoam cone. And then the pretty um, type of pipe cleaner here and our little crazy haired angel is $20. Okay, then we have $30 on this unmarked pitcher. Um, I don't think there's any cracks or chips or anything on it. It's kind of a blue transfer wear look to me although it is unmarked, but I love the shape of the picture, and of course I love blue and white. So $30 on our picture. Okay, then I have two Noel um, blow molds, and of course I left them outside and I had taken off all the heavy 
um, stuff at the bottom and this one fell over. So we have re-glued um, where it broke. You can kind of see it on my Instagram candle there, camera. So it is glued back on. So $40 for the pair of um, Noel blow mold candles. And if I set them on the ground, they're going to about my hips. So $20 on, or $40, 20 each, $40 on our candles. Okay, then we have, these are new. Um, these are just metal bells on picks. So you can stab them into a wreath, stab them into your garland, put them in a vase. Um, it's a good jingle sound, not so annoying, but $10 um, for a pick of bells. And I have three, so you could get one, two, or three um, bell picks. Okay, I have a ton of decorative bulbs and I um, haven't really shared them because I get a little bit nervous about shipping them. So we're gonna go ahead and share a few. So this one is number one and I will just line them up um, so I can remember which one is which. So this one is pink, silver, and white. And it is $5 for number one. And then number two, it has some fishing line from it just because I've hung them that way before. This one is number two. It is also $5. It has the green and yellow. Number three is blue with a hand-painted um, pattern on it. This one is number three. Number four is kind of a turquoise color um, with yellow, white, and off-white stripes. So number four on our bell. Five dollars on that one. Okay, number five is also a bell. This one is number five and it has a green on top, a white stripe, pink stripe. Five dollars on it. And I am always shedding. Okay, number six is five dollars. This one has a white and blue stripe. Number six. Number seven. I think these are supposed to be grapes. Number seven is five dollars. We've got number eight. Five dollars on number eight. Number nine is a gold um, bell for $5. And then number 10, $5 on this one. It's got some white vertical stripes and some white horizontal stripes. And this one is number 10. 10 seems like a good stopping point. 
Okay, then I found one more um, basket for $8. It's got the wood handle, red and green, so you can fill this up with some greenery. You can put your bulbs in it um, for display, put a plant, um, so many options on what to do with your little basket for $8. And then we've got this cast iron pot for $25. It's heavy, it's got a nice flat base. Again, you could make it as a um, spot for your Christmas tree, a little tabletop Christmas tree. You can fill it with some candy or garland. $25 on our cast iron pot. And then we've got a couple of winter quilts. These are super thick, and I forgot to double check this one and make sure I had the measurements on it, so I'm not seeing it. Okay, so this one might have to be on hold. It is $45, but I don't know the dimensions. So you can see the pattern. And this one is what I call like a man's and a woman's because the underside is totally girly and floral and just does not, to me, um, really match the other side. But you could totally put this on your porch and flip it one way for spring and one way for uh, fall and winter. So $45 on that first quilt. I just don't know the dimensions. Now, this one is also super thick. It's $45 and it's 86 by 62. So there is some spots with some discoloration. Um, and I cannot remember if I have washed this one. I don't think that I did. Um, so... $45 is the price because it's not perfect, but it is super thick. So red and white pattern. And underneath, you've got your plaid. So $45 and it is 86 by 62 and really a thick one with a lot of um, padding in it, but there is some staining and discoloration. Okay, let's do some books. We've got Tomorrow Is Forever. So this one is a great one because of the green color. Um, no pictures but great for stacking for a riser. So Tomorrow is Forever is $5. We've got First Course in Algebra for $5. Again, it is a green also. Math stuff, algebra. And then we've got... An Am Basics of American History, Volume 2. This one is also green, also $5. So great for your vignettes. Um, put the Christmas colors in and change your height. Then we have the Tides of Life's, is what it looks like to me. This one is blue. $5 on Tides of Life. This one has like a Iota Tau Sigma, some kind of a fraternity. The Tides of Life for five. We've got the Mature Mind in a light blue for five dollars. We've got Allergy Facts and Fancies for five dollars. This one is another hand cut book, so it's really pretty. Really pretty paper. No pictures. 
And then we have Flemish Masterpieces from the National Gallery. And this is $5. There are pictures in here, but I think they're mainly portraits when I was flipping. Again, you've got your nice hand cut um, pages. Well, here is a picture upside down. Let's see, I think all the pictures are towards the front. Well, so here's what I mean by a lot of them are gonna be portraits. $5 on masterpieces. Okay, then we have this uh, measuring uh, amber bottle. It's a Serto. Um, it's some kind of measuring where it says for half bottle pour to here. And that reads um, this way where it would be pouring out. So $5 on our amber bottle with the embossed um, measurement directions, $5. And then we have this old, I'm pretty sure it was probably a clock case. It has been painted gold at some point. There is like a fruit decal here on the front of the glass, um, but you could put like some carolers in there, Santa Claus. You could do a whole like little scenery in here, kind of like a snow globe or something. Um, and this one is $35. And it has been like, I would call this jerry-rigged. It's, it's been wired so you can hang it on the wall. So you could use it as a medicine cabinet. You could add a little shelf in there, put some of your vintage bottles. You could also nail a couple of nails on that back um, board and hang your jewelry in it. So you could hang this in your bathroom and then get your necklaces out. Um, so that would be a fun display, but it will stand up as well. So you don't have to hang it. So $35 on our gold clock case. And then I did grab a larger funnel for $30. So this could be the base um, to a future funnel tree. And you can also use it as a base. And then when a tree has like, a, you know, like a dowel rod that you can put in here and then you can have your tree standing up from that. So $30 on this or in the spring, you screw it onto your porch and add some trailing flowers into it. Okay, for $15, we have this purple long and skinny frame. So you can take fishing line and hang a couple of bulbs in it. You can do a swag, you can do a bow, you can wrap it with ribbon like you would a package. So $15 on our purple frame. And then this um, container, is $18. It is not old. It is new. Um, things like this are great to put as like a gift basket. So you could do, um, you know, some a Netflix coupon, some microwave popcorn in there. You could roll up a little throw and put in there, add some candy and stuff. Um, so this is a good like gift basket basket, but you could also fill it with, um, a tree or anything uh, green and Christmas-ish. Christmas okay, so we got $18 on that. And then I'm gonna dump my bells off here. And this little sugar creamer and tray set is $20. This is, again, a heavier duty metal. It's not like um, super light, like aluminum or anything. So it was probably a child's uh, set. And you could put a little bottle brush tree in each one of these. You could display an ornament in each one. Um, it does have the tray with it and it is $20. Okay, then we have $15 on this wooden piece that I would call a cloche base. 
So you could leave it wood, you could stain it, you could paint it, um, and then put a cloche with it. This would also be an option if you've seen where people will stack um, crocs. You could use this wooden piece in between a couple of crocs and um, stack them that way. So $15 on our wooden um, cloche base. Okay, then we have $25 on this um, glass jar with bulbs in it. So it's just kind of an assortment of colors and sizes. I think there's about 14 bulbs inside it, and it's $25. So in, excuse me, the rest of the time of the year, you can take this out and you could put clothespins in it. You could do your laundry detergent, dryer sheets, um, cotton balls. I mean, you can use these containers to store lots of things. So $25 for the jar and 14-ish um, bulbs. And then if you want the second one, this one is number two. Again, around 14 bulbs, different colors, different sizes stuck here in the jar. You could also add some tinsel into here just to get some bling. So that one is number two for $25. Another thing that would look great filled with a bunch of bulbs and you could use the tinsel, you can use the yarn I'm always talking about, would be this um, like kind of a retro mid-century modern aluminum bowl for 20. And then our last thing tonight, we have a set of four platters for $60. And I, sh I shouldn't say platters, they're chargers. So they are silver with gold detailing around the edges. So you can set these and then put your dinner plate on top. You could set these out and then layer them like with a bowl or um, have this be a cloche base. Um, so you've got lots of options on these. Hang these on the wall with a plate hanger. Put a little wreath in front of it for Christmas. So lots of different options on these chargers. So four of them for $60. And that will be the last thing that we do tonight. So kind of a recap, um, I do a sale on Tuesdays at noon, Sundays at 7. Um, I will send you an invoice within 24 hours. You will get a shipping invoice on Thursday. So Thursday I pack everything up. Um, add your shipping to your invoice. If you're a repeat customer, if you're a new customer, you'll get an invoice, need to pay for your items first, and then you'll get another invoice on Thursday by the end of the day that will be for shipping. If I charge your card, I will not charge your card until Thursday after I add shipping, or if I'm holding it, I won't, I will charge it on Thursday too. So your card gets charged on Thursday. I do have a bunch of compartments here, so I am fine with holding your stuff. I know I have a few of you who just want to wait until you have a good size box because we know that one thing and five things a lot of times is the same price to ship. So I want to save you a little bit of money. I do have new items listed on my website, thejunkparlor.com. So you can go and shop there as well. And if you ever want something off my website and you already have stuff, um, you know, on hold or whatever through the week, I will combine those um, with you or for you um, in the same package. So I'm always trying to save everybody a little bit of money on packing. Um, whatever didn't sell live, we'll go over to stories. And then come watch me on my Facebook page tomorrow at 8.30, and I'm going to be walking you through creating a Christmas uh, chalkboard design and giving you some chalkboard tips um, as well. So that is my, um, tomorrow's my day for the 25 days of Christmas. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you had a great Sunday, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.